Last year's DreamHack Masters event in Malmo stands out as the defining magical moment of the latter years of NIP. The days after their fall from the top spot and descent to battle in amongst the pack of younger, newer, more hungry teams grasping for trophies, NIP's run of trophies had long since ended. The days when making the final of a major had been routine, had gone. Get Right and Forrest were two of the very best players in CSGO history, but their best accomplishments were but relics of the past. What would NIP's legacy post Fiflaren be? As NIP found themselves at these crossroads, their fellow Swedes at DreamHack similarly faced tougher competition. No longer were they part of a small group of tournament organizers taking their turn to host the majors. CSGO had blossomed into one of the world's largest esports and the battle to put on the world's biggest tournaments with the world's best teams and the accompanying spectacle expected was fierce. DreamHack stratified their tournament circuit and presented the DreamHack Masters brand to label their truly spectacular Tier 1 tournaments with. Just as NIP eyed a return to the top, DreamHack sought to put their stamp again on the esports landscape with something special and uniquely theirs. Malmo was the location for the first Masters event, and NIP did not come into the tournament as even a dark horse to take the title. Luminosity were fresh off winning their first major a week prior, with Cold Zera putting up astronomical MVP numbers. Our Navi were titans of the game, seemingly impossible to dispatch prior to the semi-finals of tournaments, and only being beaten by the likes of Fnatic and Luminosity. Fnatic had won six of the previous seven tournaments they had attended, but the dominant Swedish force were not in attendance in Malmo, leaving NIP to fly the flag for the home crowd. Of course, NIP's return to championship form came in the form of a magical return. The Ninjas were tested even in the group stage, having to defeat a still world-class Astralis in a best of three series simply to move on to the playoffs. Despite heroics from Device, Forrest and company prevailed. Moving past Virtus Pro in the quarterfinals, always a tough team to face in a series, NIP found themselves close to eliminated in a semi-final, which surprisingly found them builders' favourites. Godsent, Ponax's new venture, fellow Swedes, had Get Right and the gang in trouble over the first two maps of the semi-final, but key plays in the right moments saw NIP through to the final, the grand final of DreamHack Masters Malmo. The Na'Vi which awaited them in the final was their most difficult challenge yet. A team playing truly elite, tactical Counter-Strike and hungry for titles, having been denied so narrowly so many times but by only the greatest teams in Counter-Strike history. Coach Threat's unique approach to anti-eco play allowed NIP to exploit a rare weakness in the CIS squad, baiting them into force buys and grinding away a little at Guardian's team's advantages. Great moments across the board completed the spell as NIP edged out Na'Vi on both maps to secure the DreamHack Masters crown. 2017 finds NIP again looking to rebuild their elite status and once more heading into DreamHack Masters Malmo as far from a favourite to hoist the trophy. SK Gaming have been dominant over the summer. Astralis have always found a way into the final four of every tournament, and there are dangerous new lineups from FaZe and Na'Vi lurking in the shadows. If NIP are to continue their legacy of wowing the home crowd in Malmo, they'll need special performances from old stars and new talents to become masters of DreamHack Malmo.